In this video, we are going to see a lot of water. A lot of water. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh yeah, <laughs> because we are learning about a special place called Niagara Falls. It is not only a beautiful and fascinating place to visit and see, it is also a wonderful source of power and generates electricity for both the United States and Canada. So, what exactly is Niagara Falls? Well, it is a group of three waterfalls on the border of the United States and Canada. Here, we'll show you on the map. Niagara Falls is right here on the map, on the border of Canada and the United States. One of the falls is mostly in Canada. The other two are in the United States. The biggest waterfall of the three is called Horseshoe Falls, or Canadian Falls, depending on who you ask. It is called Horseshoe Falls because of its shape, it looks like a horseshoe. Many people also call it Canadian Falls because most of it is in Canada. Now, Horseshoe Falls is huge, okay? It is 2,590 feet wide with a drop of 187 feet. Horseshoe Falls isn't just big, it is powerful. In fact, Horseshoe Falls is the most powerful waterfall in all of North America. You can see the power of Horseshoe Falls by seeing just how much mist is generated by the falls. So much mist. The other two waterfalls are American Falls and Bridal Veil Falls. Both of them are on the United States side. They are much smaller than Horseshoe Falls. American Falls is the largest of the two and is called American Falls because it is on the American side of the border. Bridal Veil Falls is the smallest of all and is called Bridal Veil Falls because it looks like the veil that a bride wears at a wedding. Now here is a super easy fact to remember. The waterfalls are on the Niagara River, okay? Niagara Falls, Niagara River, all right? Real easy, really simple, okay? <laughs> Share that fact with your friends. Okay, now catch this. If you ever visit, you can ride on a boat on the Niagara River and see the falls up close. Everyone has to wear a poncho because you'll get wet. The amount of mist that comes from the falls is amazing. Speaking of visiting, did you know over 30 million people visit Niagara Falls every year? It is one of the most inspiring natural wonders in the world. Now, through the years, not everyone has come just to visit, okay? For example, 11 people have walked a tightrope across Niagara Falls. Tightrope walking is when someone walks across a very thin rope. It requires amazing balance and focus. A man named Charles Blondin is pictured here, walking a tightrope across Niagara Falls while carrying his manager on his back. Can you imagine being that guy? Thankfully, Charles Blondin and his manager made it across safely. Charles Blondin walked across Niagara Falls on a tightrope many times. One lady named Annie Edson Taylor also did something dangerous with the falls in 1901. You can see her pictured here. She got in a barrel and rode down the falls. That's right. She was the first person to do that. She survived, although she did get hurt. If you visit the falls, just look at the falls, okay? They are beautiful. Just Look at them, and if you think they look beautiful during the day, they are lit at night. Those are LED lights, and they look almost magical. <laughs> wow, Niagara Falls. Okay, yeah, this guy isn't allowed to visit Niagara Falls. It's for your safety, okay? You just shouldn't go. You'd be tempted. Unless if you promise just to look at them like everyone else, all right? <laughs> okay, we have one more fact about Niagara Falls to share with you. Something we referenced at the beginning of the video. Niagara Falls generates a lot of electricity. 
The type of power generated by Niagara Falls is called hydroelectricity. That's a fancy name. Hydroelectricity, the fast movement of the water, allows the generators at the plants to make electricity. Hydroelectricity is electricity that is powered by water. Niagara Falls, a beautiful place, an incredible natural wonder, and also a source of energy and electricity to the surrounding areas. Special thanks to our patrons who make these videos possible. If you would like to help us and also get some cool homeschool pop tattoos, click the link below the video or visit homeschoolpop.com to learn more. As always, you are awesome. Thanks for learning with us.